What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy the Middle-Aged Gamer and this is an unboxing video of the new Acer Tech Predator Mark III. Now as you guys know I've been using this little tracer unit. It's gone through the walls as you can see. I've dropped the end cap when I went to charge and cracked the little glass in there. BBs have hit it head on and it has been running perfectly fine. I've had this now for two years. It's been great but as you can tell it's a funky little thing. Now we need a bigger one I think for the rattler and things like that just to give it that nice appearance. So of course I went out on the internet and for a long time now I've not been able to find one until I came across the Predator Mark III. Now these currently retail on Amazon for about 150 to 200 quid for the standard edition but this one isn't the standard edition. This one is the Bifrost M which is brilliant. I like the Bifrost, it has so many advantages, especially for new players. If everyone um, had a tracer, which I believe my site now does, all the rentals come equipped with uh, tracer units at Halo Mill, which is kind of cool. But the idea is, for instance, you can have blue flame for blue team, red flame for red, everyone's equal, everyone has the same advantages and disadvantages. And I, I find that really kind of cool. And again, if you're not interested in that sort of thing for helping out the uh, newbies that come in, because come on, we're all wearing dark clothes in a dark environment. We don't really see the patches and sometimes we end up shooting our teammates. But if we can see that he's got a red flame and we know we're on red team, we can shoot you know, someone else, not him. But um, that was the whole thought behind it. You know, it's the whole idea of the Bifrost. And to be honest, yes, it's representative of modern culture and the way that we accept everyone now, which is awesome. That's how it should be. So, let's have a look. Now, the Predator Mark III does come in this cool, funky white box, which is quite nice. It's just got Ace Tech all over it. On the back, it tells you uh, what it is. And yes, this is kind of cool. So, remove that. You do get your little hard shell case, which is nice. If we open that, ooh, got the nice Ace Tech logo in there. And yep, as I thought. Got some stickers there, you got the instruction manual, quick start guide, etc. etc. which is cool. Now that leads us to here. Oh, that's already well done. To the tracer unit. And what's under here? Oh, your charge cable is underneath that logo, which is cool. So let's Oi. there we go. Let's take that out. Ooh. This looks absolutely beautiful yeah the whole idea is i do like this cac design and yep this is a qd suppressor slash tracer unit and the reason being is inside there should be our oh you can hear that ring that's a lovely balanced one flash hider you got ace tech logo on there there's a little uh grub screw there to tighten it down onto the actual uh rifle so if you are going to put this permanently on a rifle roll for a long time you can tighten it down so it doesn't back out if not you can always leave it nicely situated in here just twist and it should lock itself back in let's check the tracer shall we so yeah that's your metal end cap which is nice with some rubber padding in there and yep, we got the Bifrost M module. Now, this one comes with the nice little screw back. That's where I guess we'll find our. Uh... Ooh, what's it, find? What's it got charge? Ooh, we have power. And it's green. Okay. As you can see, you got your multiple LEDs on the end. Drop that in there. And tighten that all back down. And there we have, it's on, active. Hmm. Okay, so why don't we just put all this back out of the way and bring in, let's say, the, hmm. Let's bring in the Rattler, because that's the one I think I'm going to be using the most these days. 
when I go out for gameplay, unless I have a new rifle to test, that is. But uh, you can actually see that's the old one, and yeah, that's the new one. This one looks a lot more substantial compared to that for the bigger rifles. This goes well on the MPX and below, like the MP7s, etc., your MP9s, and that. If you oh, if you had the muzzle adapter, that is. So uh, yeah, let's bring in my Rattler. As you can see, taking that off. Let's uh, unscrew that. And if I'm right, yep. screw on the QD. Now, of course, you'd be able to set this aligned and then tighten it down, but just for now, that looks mean already on the Rattler. It suits it, you know? It's basically similar to what came with it as um, the SIG style of flash hider, but this one's a lot more easier to take off. Let's put the rifle on like that and click. Ooh, that's nice. So, what do you think, guys? Does that look better now? I do think so. You know what? Let's see if we can tone down the lights a little bit. We haven't got much because it's very bright outside. We're in the middle of our uh, quick summer. Let's see if we can do a quick test, shall we? Okay, now off to my side, I have my um, capture target. So, now to worry about that. We've got some BBs. In. Let's let's see what we can do. So we can get that on there. Ooh, yep. We got some. Let's go fun mode, shall we? Wow, that is bright. OMG, that is amazing wow guys that was so bright my eyes actually got blinded from the flash that was actually quite good kudos to ace tech they made a really good how would you say tracer unit on that one that's bright oh wow um but yeah this being the bifrost you can do the rainbow if you wish that's going to be kind of cool although i don't think i'll be able to pick that up on this camera you're going to need a really dark outdoors at night um or well, next time i go to the mill i'll take some standard bbs um i'll see if we can nick a few um and we'll shoot some down the 35 uh, at halo mill and see what she's like with the rainbow tracer because this good thing about the bifrost is it's bright enough that if you have standard white bbs just ordinary non-tracers it still lights them up it obviously it doesn't glow the entire distance but it still lights them up, which is absolutely phenomenal. And that's a kind of cool idea, right, guys? That it can actually go down there and still see. And, of course, if you put it on the rainbow mode, you get around about three, four inches worth of uh, color band uh, going red, blue, green, and so on in a big, long line for around about six meters, seven meters thereabouts, which is absolutely awesome. And again, you know, that's just kind of cool. Um, so your tracer unit is always in use. It's not a case of, oh, but if, why, you know, and so on, like with some that if you haven't got the tracer BBs, you just can't light them up. But um, yeah, for those of you milsimming as well, you got that flash effect. Wow, that is unbelievable. You know, so yeah, kudos to them. That is absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. Anyway. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think to this absolute amazing tracer. I like the QD, easy on. I love that option. Um, I like the, the ability to be able to do things that you want. I like the fact that I can change it to any of the colors in the rainbow, basically. Red, blue, green, pink. Yeah, I'll rock pink. That'd be cool. Um, purple, you name it. Uh, it's kind of cool. I like that. Um, it gives us so much more options for a bit of fun, you know, brighten up the day, as they say, quite literally in this case. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It's a great package. Now you can get yours at Airsoft Central, like I did. Um, they're 135 quid at Airsoft Central. So head over to there and pick one up with a Bifrost. Or you can spend five pounds less and get the standard Brighter M. This does have the five minute auto sleep and the shake awake feature. So if you do forget to turn it off, 
no biggie, it'll still last. They do recommend every two months that you charge it, um, you know, uh, which is a, a no-brainer really. Um, whacking it on for a little bit before you go uh, airsofting, you know, day before or what have you is a great thing for Pratt. But, um, you know, that's nice to know. And like I say, this is a nice full metal build. There's no plastic there, which is great. And that means it's just going to last you a long time. You know, the modules are sold separately as well. So if you do eventually break out your Bifrost, you can pick another one up, the 65 pounds each just for the module to drop in. And this being the Predator platform, uh, Ace Tech's flagship, how would you say, QD suppressor, you can actually um, keep this for a long time because all the future, like the Predator Mark IV, etc., whatever they decide to, will all drop into that as they release more modules with more gimmicks. Um, yeah, I believe... They are working on a smaller tray, um, what they call it, chronograph version of the BT that will fit into this. But um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But um, I do like the Bifrost. I think it's cool. I like the possibilities and the fun. So, yeah. As always, I've been the Middle Age Gamer. This has been the Acetec Predator Mark III. And you guys have been absolutely amazing. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.